Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you enjoy this video, come back tomorrow. I have low battery. That's like something you guys might not know about me. I'm really bad at keeping my phone charged. Um, so I'm just trying to get this clip in really quick. The doctor appointment went well. I'll talk about it more later. I just picked up Dunkin' Donuts for myself, which I never do. I got a Beyond sausage sandwich and hash browns and a donut and some water because I'm no fun and don't like coffee. Um, but I'm about to get these crazy nails taken care of. Um, and so that's my little busy morning out and about. I don't do this often, so it's it's been a nice morning. Okay, I'm done with my nails. I'm gonna head into Trader Joe's. There's a small line um, to get some fall goodies for Peter, maybe a coffee creamer. I don't know, maybe even just something to eat for lunch. Just a quick little trip in. Haven't been in here in a long time. I'm in the vlog. Yay. Sarah's home. Wanna show what I got us? She got me, did you say that you went to Dunkin' Donuts? Yes. So Sarah got me that since she went to Dunkin' Donuts. Got this to share, vegan ranch dip, it's very dilly, which I love. Mm -hmm. Some tortilla chips and... They didn't have much pumpkin-y stuff. They're like not fall ready. I wanted to get you like pumpkin creamer or a la cologne, but mm -hmm. they didn't have any that were vegan. Thank you. You're so well done. I'm working away. What day is it? Wednesday? It's... Who knows? I got my sous chef. And I got potatoes frying. I'm making babosh, just potatoes, onions, green pepper. That's what we had taste for. That's what I'm gonna make. We do still have some of those, um, like baked chicken strips, so maybe I'll make some of those too. So I always start with the potatoes because they take the longest to cook. And then I like to sliver up the onions and the peppers. I used two potatoes, half an onion, and a full green pepper. Um, typically calls for smoked sausage. I was just at Trader Joe's today looking even at the sausages, the like plant-based ones, and I should have picked it up for this, um, but that's all right. But just in case you wanted to make it yourself, I typically just use salt, pepper, garlic, but I'm actually out of garlic. It's a blasphemy. Um, but we got that really yummy vegan ranch dip so we'll have that to dip it in and then I just love it with ketchup um, a lot of my family makes it with hot dogs instead of the smoked sausage so it just kind of depends on what what you like um, also it's basically like the base of a breakfast skillet if you wanted to put like crack an egg in it um, put salsa on it any other veggies really um, but yeah, just really good base. Peppers, onions, potatoes. How can you go wrong? Oh, look at this. As I'm getting ready for my last call today at 4.30. Who schedules a call at 4.30? Come on. You just storm me out. For your reference, it takes about a half hour to cook. I gave us an hour, forgetting that Peter had a meeting right at 4.30. So I'm gonna eat by myself because I'm hungry. But I doused it in that ranch and lots of ketchup. All right, I'm done working for the day. Then it's time to eat some babach. Sarah is resting because she had quite an exhilarating day. And while I eat, and we're gonna see what's going on. It's kind of raining right now, and it's supposed to rain, I think, like the rest of the evening. So don't have any park passes, no property today. Um, did snag a park pass for tomorrow, so hopefully that works out. But we shall see. Feeling like I just have a feeling that there's a good movie deal on Apple TV, but I'll have to wait and see. I don't think we showed this, but we got a bamboo mattress pad cover for the, the bassinet that we ordered that'll be here Friday. The Halo bassinet. Be here tomorrow. Tomorrow? Maybe Friday. Also, it's a little bit later. Sarah, I just like, she went to go rest in there, which I knew what that meant. It was gonna be a nap. Yeah. Um, but, through very little fighting, I convinced her by very little fighting. I don't think I even said <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're gonna, then I decided that we were gonna watch this non-aggressive version of 
a Liam Neeson movie. What's that Liam Neeson movie? Taken. Taken. This is the Italian version of Taken, a.k.a. a love story. I, th- I don't even know if it's a love story. It's a father-son journey in Tuscany. And I think it just came out. Eve is very unsure of it. She also actually doesn't like when I sit on furniture. But we're going to uh, eat some ice cream and maybe Sarah might want some french fries later. I'll get off the furniture in a moment. Eve. I'll get off in a moment. I'm sorry. See? Okay. There. I'm off. Is that better? We never went to McDonald's last night. We didn't. So I might have to go today. It's a rainy, it's a rainy day. It's a rainy, relaxing day. We're going to get this made in a movie. Eve will find happiness in her life Massimo one day. Massimo has a new hotel. Massimo has a new hotel. Does that imply Italy. that he's got more than one hotel? Why didn't we know Massimo had a hotel? Can we okay, go? Maria just messaged me. Take a tour of Massimo Bottura's new hotel. Casa Maria Luigi. A new hotel in Italy, opened by Massimo and his wife, Lara. In what area? Space plays home to contemporary art from all over the world. He's... Modenese breakfast. <gasps> and in an evening, they have the chance to sample the classic dishes. <gasps> Five ages of Parmigiano Reggiano? We're going. We're going. That's, we're, it, we're, well, first we're going to watch this movie called Made in Italy. And then we're going to go see Massimo. And we're going to go to Italy. In Italy. Massimo. Baturo has a whole YouTube channel and it's a bunch of videos he's made that look like some maybe his daughter had made off of Instagram live but then others are like full on made films in collaboration with others and then just a bunch of videos that he was in by like Gucci and British GQ and just other things he's liked that he's been a part of that is going to be my new obsession that's all I'm, I'm, I'm not going to listen to any podcasts or watch any other YouTube videos between now and when I watch every single thing on that channel but I had to turn it off because, like, not to offend Sarah, but, like, I needed headphones on. I just need to be me and Massimo. <laughs> you watched the one episode that Massimo has. I, I've, watched, <laughs> I've watched season one, episode one of Chef's Table with Massimo when I first f- became in love with him. And I've watched it probably, honestly, no exaggeration, 45-ish? Between 40 and 50 times. <laughs> I was say 100. Yeah, no, I think like 100 would be an exaggeration, but 40 to 50 times is a legitimate. You also watched his episode from Somebody Feed Phil. Yeah, watched the episode where he's in Somebody Feed Phil probably eight times. You know what? I Because re- I forget how old that, that chef's table is because I would watch that in our first apartment I've five years ago. I've seen that. So I've time. probably seen it closer to like 70 times. Full on, like start to finish. <laughs> I just love him. Yeah, we're going to go. To Balsamic. Him. Is my blood, and my muscles are made of muscle. Ah! Hey, I didn't fall asleep. Didn't fall asleep. Well, it is only ten, and I took a nap. But that movie was really good. Simple. Only an hour and a half. What was it called again? Made in Italy. Yeah. Did you like it? I loved it. I'll watch it a hundred more times. Well, good thing we bought it. Ew. I am going to do my stretches in the babes room. Want to come? No, I'm going to start this movie again. <laughs> um, side note, I don't think that Peter vlogged it, but he ran four miles this morning. I did. Um, we really are trying for him to run in the morning. I, I mean, not again. It never actually has worked out. But I think we're on to something. I think so too. Now we just gotta get to get the ball rolling and fundraising. All right, since Sarah's finishing up, finishing up her stretches and she has an early morning 7 a.m. call, I'm gonna go ahead and I got the room ready for bed. I'm gonna do the message. Today is Wednesday, right? Yeah, today's Wednesday the 9th of September. It's a short one, doesn't even... <gasps> It doesn't even say who it's by. Dumb vivamos vivamos. Let us live while we live. Ooh, I like that. And I'm definitely making Sarah read tomorrow's because it's really long. I'm antsy, so I'm saying we're signing off now even though you're not done. I am done. Um, 
my doctor isn't worried at all, but the baby is not head down yet. Still got and, some weeks. Yeah, and there's still a lot of time, but I know that there's some like specific yoga positions that are good for that. And so I'm just using trusty YouTube. But of course it's like consult your doctor. Right, and Eve is really antsy to go to bed, so I'm going to make sure she's all taken care of. Here she is. Did you ever see her today? I think so. Yeah. She doesn't want to come over here. She doesn't want to. Boop. Boop. She's such a good girly. She really is. I can't wait for her to meet James and to see how she reacts when he doesn't go home like all the other <laughs> kids that have entered our house. Well, she's never met a, a, an infant. Right. It'll be fun. She will not be doing this with James until James is older. <laughs> oh. oh, this is our baby laundry we still gotta do. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> she won't bite me. But she wants to play so she won't even engage! It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>